School life was a very good mix of both sports and academics because I had a inclination towards sports. My parents tell stories about how I used to pick up anything I could find like a plastic bottle and swing it around as if I'm batting and that carried over to school but at the same time because my family was quite big on education the message was always do whatever you want but make sure that your studies don't suffer. I probably took that quite seriously. I uh, won a number of prizes in school for being the best all-rounder. I always gravitated towards the science subjects. I loved biology. I also had an inclination for building things so any kind of mechanical work was something that I liked doing and therefore I thought maybe mechanical engineering might be the way to go. Because I was playing cricket side by side and I didn't think that I would be able to manage both, I chose a BSc. So I did my BSc in microbiology. At the end of my BSc, uh, cricket was at the time not financially sustainable at all and I was considering higher education in order to support myself financially. And at the time I got an opportunity for a sports quota government job with Western Railway. Uh, so I moved to Mumbai, uh, basically had to work half day in the Western Railway offices and then got the rest of the day off train. That semi-professional environment helped me become better as a cricketer. That allowed me to continue with cricket. We were all playing for passion, we knew there was no money in the game. Uh, that has changed now. Even to play domestic cricket, you are paid match fees, even women's cricketers. There is also a very good contract system in place for the Indian women's cricket team. There are now women in cricket working as umpires, working as scorers. For someone who has played the game and retires, there, is, there are the options of being match referees. And we also have uh, opportunities in supplementary areas like fitness training, coaching, video analysis and of course in media. So all these roles are opening up. The more, the closer we get to a women's IPL, uh, these things will just get start, keep getting bigger. So in terms of how it was 20 years ago when I started playing cricket, there is definitely a massive difference now.